Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome to the Hypertrophic Cardiomyopathy Association's web or um, Facebook page, not website. And today we are going to be doing a presentation on an HCM spectrum disorder. For matters of housekeeping, today is April 18th. It is 3.30 Eastern time. If you are watching this in a repeat version and you have any questions, there's contact information at the top of this presentation, or you can put your comments below and a member of the HCMA staff will get back in touch with you. Today's presentation is a little bit different than our traditional Facebook interviews, as today we are talking about an HCM spectrum disorder called Dannon's disease. Dannon's disease is a very specific genetic mutation that is often first diagnosed as hypertrophic cardiomyopathy due to the thick heart muscle. So this presentation is going to be a little bit unusual for some of you who are used to very straight sarcomeric mutation HCM conversation. And to help explain this disease process to us, we have Barry Greenberg, who is a physician at the University of San Diego. Welcome to the program, Dr. Greenberg. Thanks, Lisa. Um, glad to be on my uh, very first Facebook interview. Uh, so uh, I'm very pleased you asked me to join this. Uh, let me tell everybody out in the audience who I am. I'm, uh, as Lisa mentioned, Barry Greenberg. I'm a professor of medicine at the University of California in San Diego, and I'm director of the Advanced Heart Failure Treatment Program. I do uh, not only clinical work, but research work in both the basic and uh, clinical arenas in uh, heart failure, and I pretty much spent all of my career in this area. So today we're going to talk about something a little bit different than this population's used to hearing about. And we're going to use some slides today to explain what Dannon's disease is. And I am going to minimize my screen in a minute. And uh, Dr. Greenberg is going to take you through these slides. I do want to say that this, the slides have dual logo recognition on them from UCSD and as well as Rocket Pharmaceuticals, who is the pharmaceutical company who is helping launch this clinical trial. Um, I do want to note that the Hypertrophic Cardiomyopathy Association has not received compensation for providing this uh, educational opportunity. We are doing it because we feel that it is the right thing to do to communicate to the population that there is an exciting trial that they might want to know about. Oops, and my phone's ringing here. So I'm going to bring the screen up and I'm going to, sorry about that. And I'm going to minimize my screen. Dr. Greenberg, would you take them through the slides, please? Sure. Thanks very much, Lisa. Uh, let me explain a little bit uh, to the audience what Dannon is. First of all, it is a rare uh, genetic disorder. Um, the estimates, and these are rough estimates, uh, are that in the U.S. and the European community, it affects somewhere between 15 to 30,000 people males uh, and females, but males are more severely affected than females are. It's caused by mutations in a specific gene, and that gene is the LAMP2B gene. Uh, LAMP stands for lysosomal associated membrane protein, and it's a uh, critical uh, uh, protein within cells throughout the body, particularly cells within the heart. Now, there are a number of genetic mutations that can cause abnormalities in the LAMP gene and lead to abnormal function of organs, particularly the heart. Uh, the way one makes the diagnosis and differentiates this from other causes of hypertrophic cardiomyopathy is by doing uh, genetic testing and there are specific mutations that have been recognized and can be tested for to determine that uh, Dannon's disease is indeed the uh, cause. Now, unlike other causes of hypertrophic cardiomyopathy, the thickness in the heart that develops in patients with Dannon cannot be managed medically or with device intervention. Uh, it really is quite different, and it differentiates itself from uh, the sarcomeric mutations that lead to hypertrophic cardiomyopathy. It progresses very rapidly, particularly in male patients, and the only treatments that are available, and these are by no means curative, are 
implantation of a left ventricular assist device or cardiac transplantation. Now, in addition to the hypertrophic pattern in the heart, patients with Bannon's can also develop muscle weakness, cognitive impairment, and problems with vision or retinopathy. We are now starting the uh, first that I know of clinical trial in patients with Dannon disease. And this is a gene therapy trial in which the normal gene for LAMP2B is given to patients uh, to try to correct the disorder. And we're now enrolling patients for this clinical trial. This has gone through approval at both my uh, university as well as uh, through the FDA. Let me give you a uh, look at uh, who the eligible patients might be. And uh, we're looking for males ages eight and above. Uh, individuals in order to get into the trial, of course, need to have a confirmed LAMP2 mutation on genetic testing and have some evidence of a cardiac abnormality on either electrocardiogram, echocardiogram, MRI, or electrophysiology testing. The patients that we're in excluding are those individuals who have already undergone heart transplant, patients who have advanced heart failure, significantly abnormal elevation in liver function or kidney function, and also those individuals that have blood abnormalities. So a word or two about the logistics. The first is, where is this test going to take place? Uh, well, it's at the University of California, San Diego, where I am. I'm the principal investigator of this trial. And all of the arrangements, travel arrangements, flight arrangements, and so on, for patients and their family members will be provided for the initial evaluation, treatment, and follow-up visits by the sponsor of this study through a grant through UCSD. If you want further information um, or feel that uh, there is a patient, either yourself or somebody in your family, that uh, might be a potential candidate, uh, the contact information is listed on this slide and uh, we're available to give you further information about the trial. So that's, that's it, Lisa. I do have a couple of follow-up questions. And if you don't know the answers now, we can certainly get them to our watchers later. Um, this is not a drug study. This is a different kind of study. Can we explain what the therapeutic mechanism that we're looking at is? Yeah, well, I'm, I'm not gonna uh, parse uh, uh, definitions here. Uh, this is a, um, a very uh, unique drug, I would say. Uh, it is a, uses a, a, a viral vector uh, to deliver the LAMP2B gene to cells. And the virus that's being used is a virus called AAV9. It is very selective for cardiac tissue. It's taken up avidly by cardiomyocytes, and it's able to deliver the, de the gene uh, to heart muscle. What's been known in AAV2 has been used in a variety of uh, animal models and in a limited number of human patients is that it does not cause an, a much of an inflammatory response. So it really is the kind of vector that we would like to help deliver the gene. So this is gene therapy when we get right down to it. Absolutely, it is gene therapy. Uh, what we're doing is trying to deliver a normal version of a gene which is defective in patients. That's pretty amazing, isn't it? Uh, it is, and it's based on a lot of good basic science work that was done by one of my colleagues here at UCSD, 
um, a cardiologist by the name of Eric Adler. I know Eric well, and I think he's done some pretty amazing work here. So now the goal is to enroll some patients into this study. And um, how many patients are you looking to enroll at this time? So at this time, we're starting slowly because we really want to make sure that we're doing this the right way and this is the right thing for the patients. So in our initial cohorts, we're looking at somewhere between 12 and 24 patients. It'll depend a little bit on what we see from those initial patients that are random, that are enrolled. Fantastic. Well, if there's anybody who has any questions who's live with us now, uh, we're happy to address some basic questions uh, as we're live here. If you have questions after this has aired live, you can put the questions below and we'll try to get back in touch with you as quickly as possible. Or you can use the contact information and the phone numbers on the link above and you can contact the center directly. I just want to reiterate for those who may have joined late, this is a trial for those with a particular HCM spectrum disorder called Dannon's disease. And Dannon is the LAMP2 mutation, not a sarcomeric hypertrophic cardiomyopathy mutation. So it's a very specific group that we're looking for. And it's a small part of our HCMA community, but one that we hope will have an opportunity to use gene therapy to improve the lives of themselves and their families. Dr. Greenberg, any final words before we leave today? No, uh, Lisa, again, thank you so much for giving me the opportunity to present this to the hypertrophic cardiomyopathy community. Uh, I really enjoyed being here with you today. It was a lot of fun, and I'm looking forward to seeing you in June at your heart failure conference. Absolutely. Okay. Thank you very much, and have a great day. You too.